Afternoon my fabulous 100 and I know you can't see my face today and that is because I've decided to try something different today. It, it may become a series if it's popular but anyway today is the first episode. I'm calling it I'm calling today's thing YouTube for text strangers which is basically just my Unique way of saying people that don't know how to technology, pretty much. So we all know that one parent or grandparent, maybe, or whatever, teacher, or whatever, that just doesn't know how to use technology very well. So today I'm going to be doing basically... It's sort of a video version of a YouTube for dummies type of thing. And by that, I mean absolute beginners. So here goes. Now this is just, this is on the computer. I'll put, I'm going to put some screenshots of what it's going to look like if you're doing this on mobile or whatever you want to call it. This is just a standard laptop from years ago. I'm opening my preferred browser. That's which, That's the first thing you're going to do. I happen to be using Google Chrome, but <laughs> obviously you use whatever works for you or what it, whatever is your preferred browser. Oh, there it goes. Let's see if we can get it to come up. Okay, it's doing something. Okay, just a, I'll be back in just a moment. I'm gonna see if I can get this to pop up, and then I'll be back to finish the tutorial. I finally got it to pull up. And so what I've done since I wasn't able to show it on here where it actually functioned, I had to go off camera and correct some technical difficulties. So what I did is I just right-clicked on the preferred browser using the touchpad of course, you can also use a mouse if preferred. Or if you don't, if it, your keypad isn't functioning and you don't have a mouse. I j just figured out on this particular, I don't know if this would work for modern, com modern laptops, but you could totally try it. If you press control, just press control alt. You can select the icons using the arrow keys and open open the program pressing enter. So I just like right double clicked on my preferred browser, which is the Google Chrome. And yeah, that's a school website because this is an old computer of Get out of that. And here's where we get to actually using YouTube. Now, if you have a Google or Gmail account, you can just, there's a ch right in the top right. I'm sorry. Yeah, top right is a drop menu. Right, it looks like a bunch of squares. You're gonna select that 
and it'll give you a few options. And there's that's the YouTube. Now, this is what it's going to look like if you have an account. I'll show you in just a second what it'll look like if you didn't have one. But this is what what it looks like if you have one. You have your recommendations, sort of just like what Netflix has of videos that it recommends you watch. And then over here on the left, you have your the trending page, which is going to show you what the most popular videos for the week are. And then your subscriptions. It shows you the channel, all the channels that you're subscribed to. You, now it's usually a lot faster than this if you're in the app, but that basically just like shows. It's usually the most recent. The way I have mine set up, the most recent videos that have been uploaded are shown first. You can also have it set up in reverse. Or it's just like in how you can do this on your picture files, usually you can have them as a list or as by using this icon that looks like a, but it has three squares and three rectangles. And then there's one that just looks like six squares. And that is going to give you what we were just looking at a second ago, which is this layout. And then there's also library, which is sort of like, yeah, your library, it shows your video history of all the videos you've watched, your, all your watch laters, which is essentially, watch later is basically a playlist that you, that is automatically set up when you have a YouTube account where you can save where say for instance you started watching a video and then you have to leave and go somewhere but you want you want to save where you left off and not have to watch the whole thing over again that is where you would there's on every most yeah on all youtube videos there's a little icon near the bottom of the video that looks it looks like a clock you would press that and it would add it to the list and if, when you go to play the video from the list, it's going to start the video where you left off. <laughs> and then purchases, that's going to show what movies and things that you've purchased. It looks like a little tag right here. My cursor is over it. And then... For, as far as instructions on how to subscribe, I have that on my channel page. That is... Well, on here, I can just go to this. <laughs> that, that's the page. That's what it looks like on my end. <laughs> yeah. And the about section is going to be on your right of the screen. That's all that just does right here. And over here are featured channels, which there is an option to disable the if you don't want the hose. You, you just go into settings and do that.
But once you get into that part, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, it'll tell you where to go. <laughs> and on desktop, your notifications are, there is a bell icon. It'll show you all your notifications. So, and the home page is where you'll find all your recommendations and such. And then, oh, I forgot to mention earlier, under like library, you'll find like playlists that you've created or saved. Right here, if you can see where I'm scrolling. And yeah, there's settings right here. It, at a, I don't know how to describe what that looks like. Maybe a gear. Um, yeah. Whew. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but these little icons right here are, they're typically links that take you to your favorite creators, social media and such. So for example, like I have this Pinterest icon right here or the Facebook or Twitter. You can, you click on those. It takes you to my profile. Uh, yeah. And then on some channels, there is a discussion board right here. Though I don't, I don't really use it all that much personally. And then videos. This is where you can see, yeah, this is where you can sort. I'm gonna, you could do this on anyone's channel. It's not just your own or your favorite creators. Just go to sort by, and you can do either do oldest, most recent, or oldest. So right now I have newest selected, and it shows you shows all my recent videos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the PC. And I'll put screenshots of what it would look like in the app in just a second here. Um, yeah, I'm now going to show you what it's going to look like if you don't, if you're not signed in. Because you can use YouTube whether you have an account or not. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. So this is what it'll look like if you don't have an account. This screen right here. You could still watch videos, you but when you don't have an account, you cannot like or comment on videos. Or you cannot, you can't do any of the things that I just showed you if you don't have an account. It just, yeah. I don't know what this is, do yeah, this is lagging. But you can still view the trending page and such things of, like that. And that is for her. This button is for uploading videos. Messages, which messages, I'm not even gonna show you how to do because those are actually gonna be going away on September 18th, according to social media. So, 
not going to show that because it's about to go out of existence. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'm going to shut this down before it overheats and I'll flip the camera around so you guys can. Yeah, I'm going to go edit the video a little bit and I'll be back. Back. So you might have noticed like in the screenshots that I did of the app, instead of having the bell, bell icon and the messages icon, which is, like I said, is about to go away. The notification, there's a icon that looks like an envelope or envelope, however you want to say it. <laughs> and underneath it, it says inbox. This is in the app where, where you'll find your notifications if you're on mobile. Oh, there, there, that's my phone. Uh, anyway, that's it for today's video. And you ha um, using YouTube tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want, you can sh check out my merch down in the, in the link in the description below. And follow me on social media via the links down in the description below. Or if you're a little bit more tech savvy and you would like, you can use the visual codes at the end of this video. And thanks for watching. Bye, folks. Stay fabulous. Bye.